Hey guys, before we start, I just want to say that we have not been making um, videos lately and the reason behind that is because testing was going on and I'm pretty sure you guys were busy too. But now we're back and we're going to start off where we left off. So our today's topic is multiplying decimals by 100. And if you've seen our previous video, it was about multiplying decimals by 10. And this is pretty much the same thing except for our number which is going to be a 100, right? So let's just say, to start off, we're going to start with a small number. Maybe we have 7.8 times 100. As you can see, I'm writing this in horizontal form. This is how most problems will be displayed in like textbooks and workbooks in fifth grade. But the first thing that we have to do, the first step that we have to take, is write this over in vertical form, which will be like this, 7.8 times 100. Now, you could, there's two ways you can do this. Either you take this and you multiply it like 100 times 7.8 and keep on going, and that takes a lot of time. I'm going to show you guys a simple method that you could use, and you could get your answer faster, and you'll still get the right answer. So, you have 7.8 times 100. You will count the number of zeros in the 100. Now, we all know that 100 has how many zeros? Two zeros, right? So what we're going to do is take, look at our decimal number, 7.8, and we are going to move, so if you write 7.8 over here, the decimal point two times because 100 has two zeros. So we'll take the decimal point and we're going to move it two times. One, two. Now, as you can see, there's a gap here. What will we do with the gap? Well, the only thing you have to do is add a zero. So that means the product of 7.8 times 100 is 780. Now, if you want to add like a point zero here, it doesn't really make any difference because the point zero stands for nothing. The value is zero, right? So it does, it's not important or necessary to add the point zero. So, it's, so you could just say 7.8 times 100 equals 780. So that's the product. Now let's move on to a larger number with more value so we can try out some harder problems. Let's say we have 368.2 times 100. Once again, we could write this in horizontal form and do that, but we're just going to use the easy way, or the quick way. And 100 has two zeros, so we're just going to write this number over, 368.2, and move the decimal point two times. So take this and one, two. And remember, the gap is always zero. That means the product of 368.2 times 100 equals 36,820. Once again, you do not have to add the zero. So that's pretty much it for this topic, multiplying decimals by 100. And I just want to say once again that um, we're going to keep on making videos, and I hope you guys keep on watching them, enjoying them, and learning like some valuable stuff. And if you still need more practice with this topic, you can always visit our website at www.bro.insysmathclub.com. And we'll see you guys next time.